Julia is aware of the environmental issues. She is therefore striving to reduce her energy and environmental impact as much as possible to avoid irreversible climate change. She, therefore, pays attention to her consumption, whether in terms of food, clothing, or transport. But what Julia does not suspect is the growing impact of her use of digital technology. Julia has been wanting to buy a new phone for some time. She changes it every two years, like most people. The manufacturer of this telephone requires the extraction of rare, non-renewable mining resources. The greenhouse gases emitted during the extraction phase, manufacturing, and the transport of the final product represent 90% of the emissions generated by the life of this telephone. The remaining 10% is issued during the period of use when the phone is charged. When Julia goes on the internet with her phone, she multiplies by 9 the CO2 emissions related to the use of her phone, especially because of video streaming. To play a video, Julia's phone must establish a connection to the internet and then to the data centers where the video is stored. The information then makes the opposite journey so that the video finally arrives on Julia's phone. Video accounts for 80% of the world's data traffic and is roughly equally distributed among four main types of uses movies and series, YouTube, social networks, and pornography. Worldwide, the energy impact of data is increasing. This leads to carbon emissions, and at this rate, digital could account for 7% of the world's CO2 emissions in 2025. That's almost as much as all cars today. The resources of our planet will not be able to sustain such an evolution. To control our impact, we will have to arbitrate our uses and decide which ones are the most essential, and in what quantity, collectively, and on a large scale. Julia has already started to change her habits. She has finally decided to keep her old phone for another year, and has limited herself to one hour of video streaming per day. It's high time to question the true benefits of our digital consumption. The viewing of this video emitted 8.7 grams of CO2. Will you dare to question your choices for real?